What's up, YouTube, man? We back here with a new video, man. As you can see from the thumbnail, we got a new Ryobi 40 volt two stage snow blower. That's it right here, man. It's a brand new one, it's a big one. And uh, this right here is going to do a lot better than my old one. So we're going to be able to have a little more snow. But before we get into all the, the little uh, function of the uh, snow blower, we're gonna uh, go over the uh, assembly on the snow blower. Let's see what I had to do on this one. Put this thing together before I uh, start messing around with it. So let's get into it, man. So here we go. Before you uh, get any of your stuff all assembled, you have to take all the stuff off. Like you gotta have the, uh, the snow uh, the snowshoe. You gotta set that aside. It's gonna still have the cables attached to the control panel because the control panel sits right up front when it's packaged. So, uh, so what you're gonna end up doing, you're gonna take that control panel, you're gonna come back this way with it first and set it here. And then while this here is laying off to the side on the floor, yeah, then you can start assembling this with the, the knobs, that was just the adjustable knobs, so that way you can just uh, set this to the height that you want. And then next, once you get this all assembled, then you'll mess around assembling, assembling your uh, snowshoe. Well, now, what I normally would, now normally you would say, hey, you know, put this uh, support bar on, and then you'll start assembling your snowshoe and putting the screws in from the bottom. But I advise you to do it off the snow blower because it's a lot easier doing it this way. That way you can get those screws in. It makes it a lot easier with a, uh, with a power drill. So what you would rather do, use a power drill, and you'll need a T25, which is a star T25, to uh, set that in there. Because what's gonna happen, those screws are real tight, and they got Loctite uh, that's on those screws, which is red, a red Loctite. So they don't want that to come loose or come apart. And also, once you get that all set up, you're gonna use your, uh, 10 millimeter wrench. Now you can use the tools that uh, Ryobi provided for the uh, snow blower assembly, but it's best to use an open head ratchet wrench, which is this, what this is. You hear that? Let me let you hear this. Yeah, that's what that is. You want to use that right here for the support bar when you uh, tighten it up. Right here, that, but right on there, 10 millimeter. Because that way you can just just quickly assemble that together, tighten those screws in real quick. Don't want to use this here, man. It'd be all day. So just throw that out over there if you got one of these. If you don't, you're going to have to use that. And also, guys, after you get that support bar, of course, with the uh, snowshoe attached, once you get that on there, you want to make sure your cables are running along through here, through these loops here they got on the support bar. And then also, say like you, you got to watch out for that... Uh, it's a, it's a it's a tab back there. Let me get my flashlight so you can see what I'm talking about. So you guys know but when that pops out, because that can cause uh, problems. See, it's a tab that's way down below here, right by the wheel. That holds the cables in close to the machine so those cables won't get caught up in the wheel while it's moving. And also, you can get you a wire tie, tie these right here to the uh, to this pole little hole right here that holds the control panel and also guys if you just need to get into this get closer you know get your hands down in there a lot more you can take this tab off which, which what I did with my finger and slide out uh, it comes off easy not hard to come off you can just pop that off see that easy you don't need a tool to pop it on and pop it off it pops right off easily snaps back on easy so that way they clip you know that way you can pull your wheel off to get to that little that little clap that tab that sits on the side to hold the wires in also and last but not least your uh skid shoes right here that sits on the side of the shovel or the snow blower yeah yeah that you need those on there so you can adjust the height just in case you guys got big old cracks in your sidewalk or your driveway you can ride raise that up Boom, go right over it. Now you will need a, a 13 millimeter, same thing, open head wrench, 
with a ratchet on the end of it. So that way you can get in there and tighten those up. It's a lot easier, man. I'm telling you, I mean, using that tool, of course, you'll be all day. Nobody want to do that. And here we got the battery, of course. Let's check out these batteries right here. Let's see. Got the batteries right here. You get four six amp batteries. They can only go in one way. They got directions on here to show you which way to put them in. You shouldn't have to be looking at directions for that because you can just see that. See directions right there. You, can, you can't mess up. You can't put it in this way. See, it just won't work. You know the thing ain't gonna work if you put it in backwards. Snaps right in. Close it right up. And and there you have it. And then also now since we got into that. Here we go, the control panel. Yes, sir, control panel is right here. This is what's gonna operate everything from the top. And also, you can make sure too, guys, when you uh, when you get the thing all assembled, you wanna make sure these uh, controls work. So what I'm doing here, I'm controlling the chute, the angle chute. See that? See that, let you know, it's good to go. And then I'm gonna control the rotation of the shoe. So, there you go, right and left. There you go, I'm gonna put that right in the middle so it can go straight. And then also, if you uh, come check this out, we got the, uh, the auger speed and the drive speed for the snowblower. So here you got, you got one speed for the reverse and you got six speeds for the forward. So of course you if you push it up all the way up, it's gonna go, it's go a little faster than when you have it on lower speed. And then you got the auger speeds, which is right here, same deal. And then also, guys, the special feature that this thing has, hand warmers. I hey look, I can't stress this to you enough that not to have this because you gotta have some hand warmers. And I checked out a lot of snow blowers, and then especially gas powered, no hand warmers, none whatsoever. So if you click that on there, look at that, watch this here. You're gonna see the battery gauge is fuel, uh, fuel go up right there. See the hand warmer, uh, there it goes on. These are the battery gauges and right here. You can feel the hand warming up. And the reason why this one looks lower guys, because uh, I've been messing around with this here, messing with the auger speed. See it's coming back up. And um, when, you, when you click this here, and you push this here, you got the auger. The handle, the auger stops. Of course, on this side here, drives the snow blower. Uh, yes, sir. There you go, there you have it. And then you don't have to worry about turning anything off. It turns itself off if you're not in use. But for the hand warmer, you can just push that button that turns it off. And what else we got here to show you? Oh, by the way, the tires on this thing, 15 inches, it's a 15 inch wheel. So you gotta worry about getting stuck in any snow there. Got some deep grooves there, so you can get some, you got some good tread there and get right through that. So, and front of here, the front of the barrel, the drill, the snow blow here, we got these headlights. Let me turn the headlights on for you. So we got some up top, some up top here, and some in the front. Some headlights on there. There you go. See that? Headlights on. That's good, man. That way you make uh, visibility at night. A way to be able to, way to see. And also, uh, let's see what else we got. And this is, like I said, it's a floating chute. So you ain't gotta worry about anything. You gotta get it unscrewed or whatever. So if this thing happens to mess up or break or whatever, make sure they got this piece of stock. So you can just buy another one and put it on there with no problem. So it makes it a lot easier for the paint job. And also I wanna show you guys this here too. So you guys can see this here. They put extra bolts up top. So that way you can, uh, that's for your auger. So when your auger come loose, or these screws breaks or come out or whatever get lost, you can, uh, these are extra ones that goes up front here. Let me show you where they, where those go. Right up, right here. Come on down here, let me show you. Turn that light off. You can see that. I'm gonna get these lights out. It's right here. You guys can see what I'm talking about. 
All right, see right here, these here are the bolts that's hooked up to the auger. So those bolts that you see up top is extra. Those goes right there for the auger. So just in case these get lost, broken, or whatever, there you go. I extra stuff there. So guys, that's the whole rundown of the snow blower. How it operates, how it's assembled. So just in case you guys want to know, oh, oh, I got one more last thing. I'm a little forgetting stuff. They also come with a charger, fast, fast uh, charger here. This thing right here is a rapid fast charger. This thing charges really fast. I love it. I mean, the maximum, I think the max hour they take to charge up the batteries fully, two hours. I, I believe it or not, it's super fast. It's, it's the most, at the most, it's probably three hours. But I believe it was two hours because when I come out, check on it, it was done. That's two batteries at one time, two batteries. And it's, I mean, this thing is heavy duty, man. I'm telling you, it works really well. And also, I forgot to mention one other thing too. So, um, if you're going to get one of these guys, they got them already assembled at the store. So if you don't want to do what I did, have to put it all together, you know, have it come in a big box like this on the skid, you can go to the store and pick you one up, already assembled, and just make your life a lot easier. I just want to go over there with some people that might have bought it with the box and say, oh God, what am I supposed to do here? What, what, how do you put this together? But as you can see, this thing is a beauty. I love it. Come with four batteries, you can't beat it. It's like supplying the gas with the thing, you know? So people might talk about, oh man, you spent too much money on the battery power. No way. I don't have to worry about smelling like gas, worry about mechanical problems with this thing with oil and then trying to start it, let it start running a stitch cord to it. Guess what? One button start, I'm gone. We'll get this switch right here, and I'm done. So, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, share, like this video, and most of all, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time a new video drops. For that, peace, and I'm out.